when do we want to consider treating diantamoeba fragilis? I'm Dr. Amber Sarita, naturopathic doctor and medical education consultant here at Diagnostic Solutions. And when I see diantamoeba fragilis come up on page four of the GI map, I'm considering why did I run the test in the first place? We can definitely have asymptomatic carriers of diantamoeba fragilis, but most of the time I'm running a GI map on symptomatic patients. And for me, this means that I wanna pay attention to that diantamoeba fragilis, whether it's low level or elevated. I find that in my patient population, it causes quite a bit of symptoms and moves the needle in a really big way when I treat it effectively. We have options here. This can be treated with antiparasitic herbs or with pharmaceuticals in some cases. There is a lot more information on diantamoeba fragilis in our video on the Diagnostic Solutions Academy, if you'd like to join and watch that there. But next time you see diantamoeba fragilis come up on page four of the GI map, consider why did you run the test? And that will help to guide you towards treatment.